Hi hopefuls, I hope that you're well. I'm so excited for this month's theme. That is really hard to say back to back. It is Booktober. I love Booktober. In the early days of my personal YouTube channel, I would try to do Booktober and read a book every week and report on it on the end of the week. It's just very nostalgic and that was greatly inspired by Carrie Hope Fletcher's videos because she would do the Booktober read a book for the week and I felt very inspired by that. So I used to talk about books a lot more on my main channel, but I don't really do that as much anymore, but I also have a lot less time to read. I'm very excited. This month, the three of us are reading The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. And I didn't really know much about this book. I knew that it had been highly recommended. I saw that it was on both of your story graphs as a book that you wanted to read and I was like you know what I have heard a lot about this book I could get on board with having a little read so that's how we ended up picking this book this month for all of us to read and just kind of have a book club vibe. I have snapped you guys a few pictures of reading out here on my porch swing this book in the beautiful in weather. Dog, oh what's your porch swing is it? Poppy's porch swing. I also sent a picture of that snap of me reading this book to my sister-in-law and she says that she loves everything she's read by this author and she thinks that I am really gonna love this author and has even recommended another book by her for me to read later. So I'm, I'm very excited. I'm so excited that I am already a third of the way through. So this is when we're gonna start the book talk time. If you haven't read this far or you don't want any spoilers, you can click off now and come back when you have read up to page 122. That is where I am right now. I am 32% of the way through the book according to Storygraph and I am loving this author. I enjoy this writing style. I love switching between Monique's point of view to hearing Evelyn's story through biography form. I'm loving the characters and just like the mystery of why did she choose Monique to write her biography? What is it about Monique and her work before that makes Evelyn decide that this is the only person I will sell my story to and let them have all of the royalties from my story? I have a theory on why she's chosen Monique. I don't know that I want to share it yet because I don't want to like influence your theories if if you have any theories about it, maybe that's something we can decide like, yes, let's share our theories on why Evelyn has chosen Monique. I've written it down in my notes app so that way I have a clear memory of why I think Evelyn has chosen Monique to write her story. Let me know if we're gonna share that. So I'm really hoping that we get to the bottom of why Monique was chosen for writing the biography, but I am loving the characters. I'm loving the building out of old Hollywood. I'm also loving the device of using print media around the times and kind of using that to set the stage of what the public perception is about, first of all, Monique getting the interview, the initial, um, interview and then also what was being said about Evelyn in the time of her fame and like the her rise to stardom and I also really like the way that you know it's kind of written about Harry Cameron and Cecilia St. James's sexualities. I haven't gotten past the initial point of Ruby telling Evelyn that Cecilia is gay, but the way that the author has kind of set it up before the reveal of their sexualities, I feel like we're subtle, but I felt that I could pick up on it. Like the subtlety of the writing about their sexualities before Evelyn learning was really well done and not too on the nose. And I think that's why I'm really loving reading this author, reading reads work because the subtlety of it, it's very elegantly written. It's not too on the nose, but it's still very easy to follow. And But then if you don't get that underlying tone, it will be answered for you. It will be told more plainly later on. So I am really loving that bit too. I'm just, I'm loving her writing style and I'm excited to 
read more by this author. Even though I'm only a third of the way through, I am so excited to read more by this author. So I am very curious. Do you guys have any theories on why Monique was chosen to write Evelyn's biography? I'm interested to know if we are thinking different or the same things on why she might have chosen her. What are you guys thinking of the writing style so far? I am really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying this. That's all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will meet you back here next Tuesday.